Uh, welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Piotr Pawłowski. I'm from Poland. I live in Kraków and I'm currently studying at AGH University of Science and Technology. Uh, my project was to extend Hyperledger IROHA queries with optional arguments. Uh, my mentor was Mr. Grzegorz, ba Grzegorz Bazior. Uh, and we used Hyperledger IROHA uh, 1.2. 1 uh, IROHA is an open source uh, blockchain uh, coming from Hyperledger Greenhouse. Uh, it differs because it uses no native crypto cryptocurrency and it's not open. So it's basically a permission blockchain. So you have to have necessary permissions to, to join it or to access some data in especially uh, making some transactions or querying, you have to have necessary permissions. And that's, what, that's, that's how it differs from other public blockchains. Uh, IROHA queries, so get account transactions at get account as transactions, uh, are giving us all the transactions of specified user. Uh, so uh, in the first one, we get all the transactions. And in the second one, we get only this regarding some asset, the asset we specify. Uh, there is also pending transactions. So in this query, we can get uh, <clears throat> all transactions that are still not accepted. So they are not uh, saved in blockchain. Uh, and my, my main task was to modify these queries so we can query uh, for transactions in given time range and in given height range. Uh, but there is a small difference in get pending transactions because these transactions are not yet saved. Uh, we can only query for time range because they are not given height in blockchain. Uh, so in order to achieve all these all this, uh, tasks, I have to get known with IROHA code base. Uh, I was quite new to blockchain, so I have to acknowledge myself with, generally speaking, blockchain architecture, how it works internally, what technology is being used, and all the technical things. Uh, I also have to learn protobufs because uh, we need to make a new protobuf message send it to IROHA, then it was validated and then executed on the database used there. Uh, we also have to provide tests, documentations and examples in client libraries. There are actually quite a few of them. Uh, okay, and deliverables are mainly the same as on previous, previous uh, screen. Uh, what is worth mentioning that uh, JavaScript library and Java library was quite new to me, so I have to learn a lot to, to modify these libraries. But, but yeah, everything went, went well. Uh, we accomplished mostly all the tasks specified before. So queries were extended with these arguments, time and height range. Uh, client libraries were modified and provided in examples. So now everyone can see how it works and how to use it. Uh, we modified the documentation on the official docs site of IROHA. And additionally, this was not planned at the beginning. Uh, we added these queries to borrow integration. I also managed to uh, add some new comments to borrow. They were not integrated before, but uh, but some other mentee tried to do it. He, he did not manage to finish it on time. So I, I made it as an additional work. It was quite a developing experience. Uh, so now we can use almost all IROHA comments in smart contracts uh, because Barrow is an integration into IROHA that enables us to use the smart contracts written in Solidity. Are you hearing me properly? Because I hear something in my... Yes, we hear you. Okay. Uh, what is still not done is that IROHA IOS library is not provided with extended queries. 
but uh, there are some news from Iroha core team that they are already working on it, on it and it will be provided in next release. So probably in, in a few days. Uh, if you are curious about my work and want to see results physically, uh, you can go either to the wiki page where everything is written and you can see it there, or you can uh, go to GitHub and see the pull requests with code. There are quite a few of them. Uh, yeah, I also gained some insights into working with open source community. Iroha open source community is not a big one, but it's really a living organism and everyone here is engaged and, and working really hard to, to do his job the best way. Uh, yeah, you don't have to be afraid to ask for help. It was great to have a mentor who was always there waiting to, to say some good word. Uh, and also it was a great opportunity to develop both social and programming skills because you have to make many new contacts with people all around the globe. So, so you have really to be, yeah, have the soft skills. Mm. I think that's all from me. I want to say a big thank you to my mentor, Mr. Grzegorz, who is with us today. He was really helpful and, and yeah, showed me some, some directions in which how I can de develop. Also, I wanted to thank the Iroha community, uh, all, all of them, developers and, and the people from community organization. They were also a big help and yeah, and I appreciate them. Thank you so much. Um, it's great to see all the uh, accomplishments uh, through such a short period of time. And I, your, your mentor has been, uh, even though this is the first year that um, he's mentoring, but he's actually mentored multiple mentees and done a great job. I really appreciate uh, Gregor's um, contribution. Do you have anything to add? Uh, yes, I can say that uh, Piotr, um, was uh, working really hard and really good. He managed to uh, make uh, basics uh, functionalities faster. Um, um, and he also made uh, much more. Um, and also, uh, it's, uh, not, not everybody ca uh, can do everything in uh, that many technologies in that short time, but uh, Piotr, uh, touched lots of technologies during those three those six. thank you Piotr okay you are welcome <laughs> thank you